Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So guys, this will be the part seven of my video series on family GPS tracker app using Android Studio. Okay, guys, in this video, I will only be working on images. Okay, so in this video, the user will click on the user image and he will be able to pick the user image and then we will send the image to the next activity okay and also we will also crop the image so that the size of the image is reduced okay so uh, we will we'll be using this api android image cropper api okay so for that we just need to first of all copy the permissions and add it, them to our android manifest and also we need internet permission so first of all we need to include the library so go to your build.gradle file and remove the constant layout and now click on sync now okay so we will uh, crop the image the user selected and then we will send the image to our next activity and then we will be able to insert or you can say save the image as well as the user information in our firebase database okay guys so what we will do here is First of all, let's go to name activity. Okay, so here, first of all, let's create another method public void select image. Okay, so in here, what we will do when the user, user will click on this image or image view, you can say. So now this method will be called and the gallery will be opened. So in order to open the gallery, we can say intent i equals to new intent. And here we can say i dot set action. And here we can say intent dot action get content. And we can say i, I dot set type to image backslash static. And as now we just need to say start activity for result and first of all we need to pass i and 12 that will be the unique code okay request code so in our own activity result method what we will do we can say if request code equals to 12 and result code equals to result okay and data is not equal to null okay so we what we can say crop so just open our crop image okay so first of all we also forgot to add these two lines in our android manifest so for that we can paste it here and then what we need to do we just need to copy it okay just copy and also we need to set aspect ratio and we can say one by one okay and after that we need to check and okay we will paste the code so the code is this one if request code okay so we just copy that and paste it here So 
so just remove that and we have the uri here okay so now the all the work has been done so now when the user will click on the image an image will be opened and he will be able to crop the image or rotate it uh, anti clockwise or clockwise all right so in this video okay i will show you the de the demo or okay we will okay so now let's run let's complete our code for the app until now so let's see if we have if we have we have developed something so i will show you the demo in my next video okay okay in a sign in method sign up okay in a sign in we have the login activity go to login login activity dot class start activity and here we can say my intent similarly public void go to register let me just copy the code and un remove uh, replace login activity with let's see registered activity okay and set on click method to go to login and send the method method to go to register okay and let's first go to our login activity so open login activity and also open the activity login so on this click okay we have the login button here go to login activity again okay so here we have to use the process uh, the progress dialog okay we will do it later and let's go to our name okay so first of all go to register activity and here on next we have to go to password activity go to password okay and after that when we are on password activity here we have go to name activity all right similarly now in our activity name so we can say on click generate code code and in our this image view we can say click and we can say select image okay so let me okay so i will show you the, the demo in our next video if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye